One of my favorite things about getting a brand new car is doing things to the car that haven't been done before. You guys know that already, and today is no different. We are about to throw on and start a new suspension setup and throw on new wheels on our 2023 Nissan Z. We're gonna be throwing on wheels that we know we all want to see on this car, so I'm gonna give a little bit of suspense because we're not gonna get them for about another 30 minutes. Some of the Straight Hunter boys are driving down from LA right now with a van full of car parts, not only for a 2023 Nissan Z, but also the rest of the stock body catalog for our 2023 BRZ and some additional parts for this car. As you guys know, we are starting the build to make this Nissan 2023 into a Street Hunter Z by SEMA. If you haven't seen these renderings of our car, it is going viral everywhere and I am so excited. And from the feedback that you guys have said, you guys are excited too. Coming this Friday, September 30th, Hun Cove is dropping our Skull Helmet tees. We have it in a black t-shirt, a awesome tie-dye t-shirt, and we also have these matching hats dropping. I'm gonna drop a link down below so you guys know where to find it. 10 a.m. this Friday. Keep your eyes peeled for it if you guys are trying to cop it. Hell yeah, it looks like Dylan's here right on time. On the inside of this van, guys, is a bunch of car parts. And what makes it even cooler is it's a bunch of Street Hunter parts and some extra bits. I'm so pumped. <laughs> I've been, I saw a photo of this thing this morning that you sent me and I was so excited. I know, it's crazy. We have so much stuff ready for the Z, a couple other builds, the BRZ stuff. We're just getting ready for SEMA in general. Ooh! Oh, that's so <laughs> rad. Wait, is this Z? Fenders? It is, so we're gonna do a little test fitting today. We're gonna get some, uh, the TE37's on the car. We have to get ready for SEMA, so we're gonna figure out some wheel things today. Ooh. <laughs> okay, very cool. Maybe a little spoiler as to what today's wheels are gonna be. We're gonna unload all the stuff, get it out. Ooh, this is the new BRZ hood. Very excited for that, and we have, okay. You know what? Let's take all this stuff out. Today starts day one of getting this car ready for SEMA. Now, as you guys can tell, we have a box of rays here. This is a wheel that I think a lot of you uh, knew was coming, but it's something that, despite of how many times we've already put a, this wheel on a car this year, I was like, I gotta see this car on a set of TE37s. So we found a set in stock, in the color we wanted. Oh my God. It's time to put these wheels on the car, see how they look. Hype to be the first people to do this. So we're going back to the classic Tej in today's video. Some of you are gonna love that, some of you are gonna hate it, but hear me out, because it all makes sense. We're throwing the TEs on the car, they're gonna look fire. Calvin just picked up the tires. I'm putting them on. She's looking good. Have you showed them the wheels? We showed them the wheels, yes. Oh, for the tires, we got a big, chunky set of Nittos. We have a 305 for the back, and we have a 265 for the front. These things are big boys. So we're tossing those on today. If you guys noticed the boxes we were pulling out today, you might have noticed something on those boxes we haven't seen in a while. Damn. That is right. That is correct. Your eyes are not deceiving you. We are gonna be putting bags on this car, and it's been a while, but um, hear me out. This car is special, boys. So as you guys know, this thing is gonna be turned into the Street Hunter Z, and we wanna come into SEMA super hard this year. This is the first time we are gonna have probably over 10 different Street Hunter cars at SEMA this year. That's huge for us. Our company was literally birthed at SEMA when we showed the prototype Supra Street Hunter Z, and it just, it means a lot to me. So. We want to have the craziest Z at SEMA this year. So as well, we're gonna have a full color chain Z. We're gonna have a wide bodied Z. We also wanna have a bagged Z. We wanna hit him with that triple combo, that triple threat. So we're gonna be starting the bag process today. Wide body and bag king is back. Hello, how are you? I've missed you. When we do wide body things, there is one specific character that you guys should know from the vlogs. His name is Icebox. 
His name is Lorenzo. He's making a house call today. It's nice to have you back, brother. It's been a while. So if you guys don't remember, um, you were a part of our Supra. We also did stuff with our RX-7. We also did stuff with the Corvette, but we didn't end up doing the Corvette. No, we didn't. But give the vlog a little bit of a description about what you do and why you're the perfect man for today's okay. episode. So I've been doing air ride for over 26 years. This is a passion for me. Um, I love it. We moved out here 11 years ago, so I could do whatever I wanted to do. I opened up business and uh, here we are. And I'm here with TJ to do, what, th third car? I think it's our third car. Third car, right. I think. We've, done, we, a, we've done a lot of stuff together. But we did take a, take apart the C8. Yes. Do you take, do you do ma most installs with people in California or do yeah. you ever go outside of California? I do. I actually flew to Virginia to do another Supra. Uh, I went to Washington State to do another car. Well, if anyone is interested in getting any bag setup done or you don't want to take the job on yourself, you want a little help, you can hit up Lorenzo. He is the mastermind behind today's video. So without further ado, we're going to get to it. We're going to start mounting these TEs and we're going to get ready to install our bag system on this car. to throw these on the car. We have a 265 up front. It's a pretty flush fitment. It looks super good. We're gonna take the wheels off and just see what this thing will look like on stock ride height. That's one thing I'm pretty curious about is to see what it's gonna look like if you ran it with no coilovers or no bags at all. Okay, so the stock wheels use this uh, OEM lug nut and it fits perfectly, but with our TEs, that is just not gonna be the case. If you try and throw this in, it's not gonna fit at all, but I actually have a set of Nismo lugs that are gonna go perfect with this setup. This is gonna look so sweet. Fits in there perfectly, and it actually matches the theme of black and red, which is pretty cool because these are the track editions, and the track editions are machine face with a red valve stem. So that looks super cool. Let's throw these on, see how it looks. Dude, this is gonna be really aggressive fitment. Are we sure this is gonna talk? We're lucky that these fenders are pre-rolled. Yeah, she's a, she's a thick she's one. She's gonna be super tight, dude. I don't know, man, I'm a little nervous. I'm, a, I'm skeptical, this is too aggressive. Okay, we're gonna lower for the first time. I'm a little nervous. I think that it's gonna be a little bit aggressive and we might have to throw some camber at it, but um, I think we're about to get some poke right now. Oh, the oh. ride height. Still a crazy ride height needs to be lowered, but if you actually look from here, it's like just perfect enough. And with this setup, the way that this suspension works is we get a lot of camber as you lower in. So it actually is gonna work just fine, but man, that is a super aggressive meaty setup. I've admit this from the very beginning. I was not the biggest fan of this car. I just think it doesn't, it looks good from the rear, but from the front, I wasn't really that big of a fan. I will say with these TEs on the back, it's starting to look good. It obviously needs to be lowered and we'll get there, we're, we'll, we'll get there. But from today's video of putting just TE37s on the car, just the idea of getting them on the car. When I put the TE37s on the BRZ, I was like, guys, it looks so good. I'm a big fan. And repeat history again. TEs look super good. Fitment, phenomenal. We got 305s on the back, 265s on the front. And this is a 19. I actually was looking for 18s and then upon research, I found out 19s is more popular on 370Zs. I'm just so used to like drift cars that I just was assuming 18. But this looks phenomenal. Don't get used to it though because this crazy monster ride height is soon to be fixed. Let's pull it back inside and begin the airlift installation. even get in here and start filming with Lorenzo. He already threw out the front strut and to make it even more impressive, you already ran the management wiring and you did the airline. So the take us to the back of the car and show us what you've done. So I ran all the airlines for the front, the two airlines for the front, left and right, and then the harness, zip tied everything and then put the uh, the relays here. So when everything goes in, basically just run a little hold up so it can run. Well, the compressors are probably gonna be in here and then run one line up on the tank. Just like that. 
And you also already got our like floorboards made and they're wrapped in black suede. Black suede. So all that's already done. So show us that. Okay. So we actually did some wood and we did some black suede, nothing crazy. And then here we have the uh, airlift kit. With this car being so new, I don't know what's, if they're drilling it, I don't know what's underneath that body by drilling it. So what I'm doing here is I incorporated the universal kit. This sits right in where the spring perch is. So I don't have to drill anything. It just sits in there perfectly and doesn't work. So this right here, it goes in and it sits in there perfectly and it doesn't move. And that makes it a lot easier without having to drill anything. I try to ask Lorenzo if he needs some help or can I do something so I don't just stand here. He literally goes, no, it'd be literally slower if you tried helping me. He's been going for like an hour by himself. All the bags are in, the management's wired up, all the airlines are done. He's literally just finishing the last bit of wiring and then we're gonna go ahead and start up the car and put air in the bags. One fun fact I think is worth showing you guys. I just saw this, so I was like, whoa, that's really interesting and weird. I've never seen that before. So typically, especially in the 350Z or the 370Z, when you go to the rear hatch, you take out all the carpets, right? That's where the spare tire is. And the spare tire is attached to the like bottom of the car through like a long bolt that goes through like the center bore. Now on the 400Zs, they give you a subwoofer and it's the same attachment that you would expect the spare tire to be. So, you know, this 400Z, Z, whatever, is essentially a 370Z chassis. It uses the same suspension components as a 370Z. Uh, a lot of the configuration is just a 370Z chassis just with a different body on it. Now, I don't think that's a secret to most of us watching anymore. I'm curious to see how the aftermarket stereo world is going to swap these out for bigger components, bigger units. That's super rad. Fun fact. Thought I would share that with you guys. Oh! oh! Redeemed. Redeemed. First yeah. try. Sorry guys. Wow, that was pretty close. Oh, oh. that was scary. Don't fucking shake it like you're gonna do it. <laughs> Don't do it. You won't fucking do it. You won't fucking do it. You won't sign my shirt with the sprinkling. It says subscribe to my Twitch. Oh, hey. Hey, I stream on Twitch. Never. Sometimes. This one's for sale. You should sell that shirt. You see how much Yeah, yeah. For. This one's for sale. You have to find me on the street, though, and ask me about it. I literally think I'm falling in love with this car right now. Not that I didn't like it, but like I was kind of like, yeah, like it's it's okay. I don't know. But as we're throwing on the TEs again, and I'm about to see the ride hype be super spicy, and the yellow with the black and all the Nismo logos that I'm just kind of looking at, and I'm like, damn, she kind of hot though. Like, damn, she grew on me heavy. And I have to admit, I'm uh, really liking this right now. Moment of truth, baby. Let's see how this thing looks. So we're gonna lower the car, we're gonna put it on the ground, we're gonna raise it all the way up, put the arms out on the lift, and then dump it and see how this thing looks. All right, Cal, go for it. In three, two, one. Yeah! Oh! Dude, that front goes, whoa! Wow. 